Hello and welcome again. This is Sandra and I'm so happy to have all of you join me today on this wonderful Valentine's Day. And it's going to be all about love today. And usually when people choose love, they choose right, don't they? And when you rise in the morning sun, I feel you touch my hand in the pouring rain. And the moment that you wander far from me, I want to feel you in my arms again. And you come to me on a summer breeze keep you warm in your love. Then you softly leave and it's me you need to show. How deep is your love? How deep is your love? The Bee Gees. And thank you for joining me today on this Valentine's Day. Today it's going to be all about love. And love really is one of the most important feelings in the world. It brings us together and it really does make the world go round. And the most important thing we have to do before we can do anything else is to practice self-love. If we don't love ourselves, how in the world are we going to love others in our life. Love comes in different forms, doesn't it? Well, I'm going to give you an exercise that I want you to do, and it's going to be three different things. So if you're just listening to me and you're working and you're doing other things, if you could just stop for just a few seconds and put down whatever you're doing. And if you're watching me, I want you to get really comfortable. Maybe put your hands in your lap. And I want you to close your eyes. And I want you to get your mind thinking. And I want you to envision with your eyes closed that you are sitting in a beautiful garden on a bench. And it's in the morning and it's sunrise. And you are feeling the warmth of the sun caress you. You can feel the morning dew all around you. And you can just feel the golden light opening up the sky in front of you. It's beautiful and it's peaceful and you feel that warmth. Who in your life reminds you of this sunrise? Someone who loves you unconditionally. Picture that person and feel the warmth of that love. Now keep hold of that. Now, I want to, you to imagine yourself on a dance floor. The entire space is empty and you're all alone on that big dance floor. And then all of a sudden, your favorite music starts to play and your body swings back and forth and back and forth. And you begin to swirl around the dance floor with your arms open. Feel the joy of the music and what it does to all of your senses. Who is the person that you would like to have holding you in your arms? Who is the person you would love to have swirling you around that dance floor? Who is the person that you're thinking of that brings out the passion 
in your life and provides the music to your life. Feel that passion of love. Now, for the last thing. I want you to imagine that you're sitting on a sandy beach and you're digging your toes into the moist, warm sand. You're feeling like a child again because it makes you feel so joyful and you begin to giggle and you can feel all of that joy bubbling up inside and you are so very happy to be in that place. You feel so young and the sun is warm against your back. Who is that person in your life that makes you feel young again? Feel that joy of youth and love. Okay. <laughs> Did you feel all of those things? And did you think of one person or were there many people in your lives? I know when I did this, I thought of my grandchildren who bring me such joy and they make me feel young again. And of course, I thought of my husband. He's the one I really would love to have hold me in his arms and swirl me around the dance floor. Who was your person that you felt you wanted to be there? Who is the person in your life that makes you feel warm and secure and safe? Now, there are many forms of love, as I have said before. So who are these people in your life that make you feel that way? I know that I have had quite a few opportunities lately to sit back and think about love, think about the people that I love that are here, and to think about my husband who has passed and who is no longer here. When you lose a loved one, how often there are so many what-ifs in your life. What if I didn't say I love you enough? What if he didn't realize how much I loved him? Did I do enough to be able to let him know what he really means to me? Did I appreciate the comfort, passion, and joy that you brought into my life? Those are all questions that I have been asking myself. And what it has done for me, it has made me understand the value of telling all of the people who are still here with you in your life how much you really love them. The loss of loved ones really does teach us so much in life. And one of those lessons is, is to share all of the love that you have and that you feel with that person before it's too late. That is why I have made a vow that I'm going to tell everyone in my life how much I really, really love them while they are still here. And there is no better day to start that than today on Valentine's Day. After all, don't forget that love doesn't have a price tag. And it's the most valuable gift that we can ever give. Thank you again for being with me today. I really appreciate it. And on this wonderful day, not only do something for someone else, but do something for yourself and to be kind to whomever crosses your path. And of course, pray for peace and share the love. 
And please never ever feel that you are alone because you have to know that you are truly loved. Take care and I hope to see you next week for another conversation.